I've been thinking about closure letters. And often I hear lawyers say to me, I don't want to send them because they're goodbye and get out of here kinds of letters. I couldn't disagree more. I mean, think about it. Client has honored you by entrusting their legal issue to your capable hands. Good gracious, why wouldn't you want to say thank you? Send out a letter. This concludes our representation of you in this matter. We hope that you have found our work to be exemplary. We look forward to working with you in the future if and when the need arises. Thank you very much. I mean, that can do wonders in terms of marketing. But here's two other things to think about. When does a current client become a past client? A lot of lawyers want to say after a passage of time or, you know, it's obvious that the, the matter's been done. There's some bright line here. No, it's documentation. A closure letter documents that a current client is now a past client. And one other thing, think about the doctrine of continuous representation and the tolling of statutes. We do in the industry see claims come up 10, 20 years later. And given the right fact pattern, the doctrine of continuous representation can be problematic. If you have a closure letter, that can be the bright line that starts the statute of limitations clock running on a malpractice claim. That, my friend, is powerful stuff. Well, this concludes my discussion on closure letters. I hope you found something of value. Thank you very much for allowing me to be of service. It has indeed been a pleasure.